Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the battery drain issue on iOS 18. If you recently upgraded your phone, you want to follow these steps to fix any drain issue you're having with the battery. So let's get started. So the very first thing you want to do when it comes to fixing it is doing a force restart, which is going to be using this method. You're going to quickly press and release the volume up, quickly press and release the volume down, and then hold on to this big side button until the screen goes completely black the Apple logo appears. So it's going to be volume up, volume down, one after another, and hold on to the side button. Make sure you don't accidentally press the screen when you're doing this method. And you're going to keep on holding that side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears again on the screen here. At that time, you'll let go of that side button. And this is known as a force restart, which basically shuts down the phone software and then reloads the code, which is important because when you update your iPhone from the previous version to like iOS 18, which is a new version, the phone needs to reload the code, making sure everything works the way it should. And this will give a nice refresh to the system and making sure there's no issues with it. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you're going to want to do is update all of your apps on your phone. So you updated the iOS, which is the software for the phone, but all the apps that you have installed also might have an update available for it to work the best optimized way on iOS 18. In order to update all of your apps, is you're going to go to the App Store here and then click on your profile up here and you'll see all the updates available. You can individually update all of them or click on Update All and it will begin updating all of the apps, which is going to be important because there is most likely a new version out to support it on iOS 18 and you can see all of the apps. Now this will take a moment to do, but let it update as well. Now, another thing to also consider is going to be saving your battery. It's going to be your wallpaper. So usually when it comes to wallpaper, right in your settings, you can set a wallpaper. You want to try to use a wallpaper that's already in the library, right? Many of the newer ones you have available here, many of the custom ones. If you use a custom one from a previous version, just simply reset the wallpaper. So if you have one from your wall, from your photo, just pick and pick that one and reset. And the reason why that is, sometimes the wallpaper, if it's a bigger wallpaper or it's not compatible with the newer version, it causes issues that we've seen. So changing to one of the default one is going to be your best option. But if you want to keep an existing one, just go ahead and do that. And you can also find these new ones that are available as well, which are dynamic, which I find really cool this time around. So if you want to use any of these, just select one, click on add, and then set as wallpaper. And you can use this newer version of the wallpaper. Now, another thing to also do is going to be in your setting. It's going to be for your battery. So in the settings, simply go to battery here. And in the battery section, you're going to want to look at battery usage by app. You want to see if there's an app that may be taking a lot of your battery and is draining it out. As you can see, each one tells you how much battery drain it's doing. If you find an app that you don't use as much and you see that it's taking up a lot of battery, you want to delete and reinstall that app. Or if you don't use that app, completely remove it. I can look at the list here. Let's say Instagram had a high number. You can go ahead and delete and reinstall the app. Of course, your account is going to be there. If you need to do that, any app, press and hold, just click on remove, uh, delete, and then delete, and then go to the App Store and reinstall it again as well. Now, another thing to also do to fix battery drain issue, it's going to be resetting your settings. So in the settings, just simply go to general, scroll down where it says transfer reset iPhone, click on reset, and you want to do a reset of all settings. The reason why you want to do a reset of all settings is because when you change all settings and a new version comes out, things might mess up and not work correctly. Keep in mind, when you do a reset of all settings, it doesn't reset the data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will be there. But things like saved network uh, settings will get reset, like saved Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connected device, you have to reconnect. Any keyboard dictionary you added will get reset. Any custom home screen layout, you'll have to reset again. And then any uh, handwriting style will get reset and any location privacy settings, just the setting themselves. But again, if you're just simply finding the battery drain issue, you want to follow this step to reset it. Generally, it takes about a minute or two to do, and it doesn't delete any of your data. So those are all the settings uh, and then troubleshooting you can do to fix the battery drain issue. And the final and the last thing you most likely want to do is if you're experiencing that issue, it's going to be because right now iOS 18.0 just came out, there's going to be probably 18.1 coming up that you want to go ahead and update your phone to when it comes out which is going to be the next thing you really app will address for most devices. So you can go into your settings, 
general and then do the add software update for you if it comes available which will address the issue because it is a dot zero version we're going to see bugs glitches battery drain which will be resolved in the next update most likely so i hope this video was helpful if so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iphone and ios 18 we'll see you guys next time